What's up guys, welcome to another 5 Minute Friday. Today I'm back out, my favorite trail, and I'm looking for my spiky flowers again. And this time, I know they're blooming. So let's go find them. I'm gonna use the drift method. Freaking incredible. Ground F-16 for that, to get that sunburst. I <laughs> See, I told you I'd find them. Spiky flowers. I'm pretty sure that's a technical botany term. Botanological. Oh, I'm also flying Marvin right now. He's up there somewhere. He's following me. So I gotta find a good spot to put him down and then find some more spiky flowers with a good view. We're getting closer. The spiky flowers are getting spikier, and I've got the view in the background. Got a little bit of uh, sun glow left, I'm waiting for blue hour. I've had this shot in mind for a while, and I've just been waiting for all of these cacti to bloom. And that that made me think of something that I just wanted to reiterate or discuss concerning landscape photography, and that is, if you're serious about the photography. And even if you're on vacation or whatever, wherever you are, it's really important to uh, go back to the same place twice. Even if like you've only got like a week and you're somewhere and you really wanna see a bunch of stuff, it gets really hard because I, especially I'm like, I could go here, I could go here, I could go here, you know, but if you're, if you're about the photography, then it's definitely behooving of you to go to the same place as many times as possible, at least until you get the shot. If you get lucky and get it on the first or second try, that's great. All right, enough talk right now. Let's get set up and uh, get our composition, and then I'll show you guys what I'm after. All right, so now what I'm trying to do that I've found my uh, cactus garden is now I'm trying to find the perfect uh, one of these flowers that's kind of open and pointing in the direction that I want and then we're waiting for it to get a little bit darker and we're gonna do some light painting with a blue hour. All right, so let's keep looking. All right, so it's super dark now. The plans that I had when out the door or window or wherever we are, they're gone now. So, <laughs> so we wanted to try to come up with something different. Brittany had a shot in mind with this giant Choya here that we shot originally um, before the sun went down, but now the moon is directly over it and it's got a little bit of blooming of the spiky bloomy flowers, which is cool. So now we've got it all framed up here and um, I'm shooting it at, I'm at F14 at 25 seconds, ISO 1600, and that's giving me a nice depth of field, so I don't, I shouldn't probably have to focus stack. Um, I might do one more on the stars at infinity just to make sure, but I think it's looking a lot better than what I originally had in my mind. Oh yeah, and I've got a loom cube underneath it right now. I don't know how well that's gonna work for the shot. Um, for being directly underneath it, but Brittany's lighting me with another loom cube, and we're just gonna use that, I think. I'm gonna take the one out underneath the cactus and light it up. So I'm just gonna play around with some different lighting, uh, light painting scenarios to try to get the best image. All right, so doing a couple of light painting experiments, I found that putting the light underneath it for this shot did not work at all, so it was better just to paint it on the side. So here's the image. I really like how this image turned out. I put it at F14 so that I could get the star burst on the moon. Moon burst on the moon? Sun burst on the moon? Moon burst. So I get that nice moon burst and a better depth of field so I wouldn't have to do as much focus stacking and I think that it worked out. And then also having the two loom cubes painting from up high like 45, 45 degree angles, that worked out nicer too than having the light come from underneath it. All right guys, so I'm gonna wrap it up here and head back before we get eaten by giant rabbits and 
eat that little fox over there that's staring at us. <laughs> you were gonna do it again. You were going to. I saw it. Oh, no, I would never. All right, Brittany just threatened to leave me out here by myself if we don't hurry it up. So I'm gonna wrap this up. We're gonna get out of here. Just keep in mind that you don't always have to go somewhere new, and that can definitely be an advantage, especially in this case. So if you like this stuff and you want to see more, definitely make sure you subscribe to the channel. I've got new videos every Tuesday and Friday. And if you like this video, make sure you hit that like button for me. It really helps me out. All right, so thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.